All right, so um, yesterday I did a video talking about Justice League Vermitide, and I talked about an idea for a Marvel version of this big, like a Warhammer invasion of a faction. And uh, yeah, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about Avengers WOG. Uh, as you can tell, it's the 40k orcs invading the Marvel Universe. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing Justice League Skaven, uh, like Ver uh, Justice League Vermitide. I was like, yeah, I want to do another one, but this time around, I want to do it with the orcs. You know, I want to have a, you know, I want to have one with the boys. Anyway, so let's get started with the video. So the story begins with um, the story begins in the far reaches of space, where the Guardians of the Galaxy are working alongside the Star Jammers because Corsair contacts uh, Star-Lord and is like, hey, I found something that's kind of weird and I can't reach my son or the any of the X-Men, so you're the closest I've got, so I need you guys to uh, come help with this. And they're like, well, what is it? And he's like, apparently the Kree are kind of like fucking around with some kind of weird technology that I'm not familiar, that we're not familiar with. So it'd be really peachy keen if you guys could like come and help and see what all the you know, insan what all this insanity is. So, um, yeah. So the two, so the Star Jammers and the Guardians team up. Uh, you know, team up. They head out and find that the Kree have been uh, like op uh, have been like experimenting with um, unknown technology that opens up a portal to uh, that has been opening up portals to other places. And they're like, well, great, that's multiverse stuff, and we don't know how to deal with that. So. The Star Jammers and the Guardians do what they do best. They go in, they fight the Kree off, and they basically drive off, drive them off. But not before one of the Kree scientists leaves the gate open, and it essentially starts spilling out what they were looking at on the other side. What the, on the other side were other green were other green people that aren't scrolls. It's the orcs, and the or and here's the thing: the rip in the universe was so big that it actually ripped in multiple places across the starways. So now, there are multiple orc wogs showing up across the Marvel Universe and spilling out into this uni into the universe. So now, the um, Star Jammers and the Guardians are like, now we go to Earth to call the Avengers, because now it's become an Avengers-level threat. Meanwhile, the orcs are tearing ass across the galaxy because they're like, well, this ain't it. This ain't our galaxy, but it's a good crumpin' nonetheless. So, all these orc wogs and all of their ships are just like attacking random, like um, they're just attacking anyone and everyone they run into, um, any planet, any empire. They're fighting the brood. They're fighting the Kree. They're fighting the Skrulls. They're fighting everybody. It isn't before long that the orc wogs even start in, uh, showing up in places they shouldn't. In such as uh, Adelan, home of the Inhumans, and they start showing up in even like Asgard. Among the orcs that have shown up is Gazgathal. Gaz has shown up alongside all of the others. He and his bi and his great big wog have shown up in the Marvel universe, and Gaz is even equally confused. But he's like, "Hey, oh, the Humies here know how to fight, and they've got some of them's got weird, freaky p powers." It's a good fight. <laughs> so, Gaz and the or uh, Obviously, Gaz and the other orcs don't really give a single shit as to what's going on. They don't care how they got here. They don't care why they're here. All they care about is a good fight. <laughs> and that's what they're getting across the universe, is that the orcs are just rampaging across the Marvel Universe. Of course, the Guardians and the Star Jammers uh, go to contact the Avengers. And the Avengers... Um, Assemble all except Thor, who sends a message saying that these Greenskins have made have made a arrival on Asgard, and among them, Gazgathal is on Asgard, and they're actually the orcs are actually fighting everyone, and the and the Asgardians know what orcs are. They're very well aware. They fought orcs before, but these aren't like your typical orcs. They're seeing like they're wearing like weird armor, and also like even when they run out of bullets, their guns are still firing. And that's when, like, Tony is like, uh, Tony and, like, the members of the Fantastic Four, like, Reed and even Hank, they all come to the conclusion that these orcs 
have this superpower that basically whatever they believe, it comes true. Like, they've... Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, the orcs are, you know... <laughs> Tony's like, well, thank God they're dumb, uh, or else we'd really have some problems here. Because they're because they, what they're essentially doing is altering the universe on a minuscule level. So it's all hands on deck. The Avengers, the X-Men, the Inhumans, um, the Fantastic Four, everyone is battling the, um, the uh, like battling the orcs all across the universe. But the thing of it is, is that the orcs have numbers on their side. They just have endless swaths of numbers that are just keep spilling in and more and more. And no matter how many orcs they kill, it seems like even more pop up, um, sometimes even stronger than before. These guys just aren't going away. There's nothing they can really do that is really like being able to drive them off no matter what. So you have like the, uh, the, uh, the eggheads, of course, like Hank, uh, Tony, Reed, um, T'Challa, all of them are trying their best to like figure out how to stop this orc reproduction. Um, the orcs have re or when the orcs reach Wakanda, they really love Wakanda because they're like, um, D uh, you know, these cat humies is really hard to, you know, we're trying to take over their little country, but we just can't get in there. And the orcs just keep coming, like even in far greater numbers, more and more, but Wakanda still like tries to, their best to hold firm against the green tide. Atlantis, Namor is battling orcs, and even he's like, they shouldn't be able to breathe. Like, how they don't have any gills. They just believe they're underwater, like they can breathe underwater. Um, and they, uh, <laughs> and also Namor really hates the whole thing of being called fishy boys. <laughs> then you also have others like the Hulk, who the green, who the orcs believe is a way is like a another orc they because he's green so they believe oh he's another orc and they actually since he's so big and actually like the hulk kills a war boss um the orcs who see him are like well, you the boss now you know you you know you tell us what to do and hulk is like hope not your boss he's like yeah and the thing of it is since this is like savage hulk and like how he's speaking the orcs are like easy to understand and is like hope not orc he's like Course ya, you green like us, mate. Um, uses all uh, like big and green, and we's big and green. And you like to fight, right? And the, and Hulk is like, Hulk like fight. He's like, yeah. So you're our boss. And Hulk like, Hulk, you then you Hulk's friends. And they're like, yeah, I guess so. If you, that's what you want us to be, boss. And so <laughs> Hulk goes, Hulk now war boss. And they, they, like, get him all this, like, gear, like, scrap me a scrap metal version of his World Breaker costume. And the Hulk is now a war boss. And now, like, leads his own band of, uh, his own wog. And Hulk, when Hulk comes, comes to fight other orcs with his own war band, um, Hulk goes, Hulk wog! <laughs> um, and even the Hulk, even the orcs who follow him go, Orc smash! So... Yeah, Hulk's now a war boss. <laughs> so meanwhile, up in Asgard, Gazgathal is leading the attack on Asgard, and he's loving it. Like, him and his tribe are absolutely loving the idea of, um, you know, trying to take over, at like, try to conquer Asgard, because these gaudy humies know how to fight. And the one that really, that Gaz really wants to fight is Thor. So we, got a, we get a one-on-one -on -one with Thor and Gazgathal. Um, where the two do battle, and Gaz is, like, out, like, Gaz gets, uh, does get beat down by Thor, but he keeps, like, get it, like, getting dragged away, repaired, and comes back with even more weapons, sometimes now even as guardian weapons. So Thor, they have to keep fighting on this. Krakoa has, is making a, la a, 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 it's doing its best, and the mutant nation of Krakoa is doing its best to, like, drive the orcs off their shores. Eventually, like, it has to come down to, like, well, we got an idea, we'll throw them all back to, we could throw them all somewhere else, we can throw them back to their universe, um, uh, with some, uh, like, with a little help from the, um, from the reality gem, and a spell by Doctor Strange. So the trick is, they have to find the reality stone in order to make this spell work. So in order to do that, the Guardian, like, the Guardians and some of the Avengers have to go out into a wog into a orc infested galaxy in order to find the reality stone 
In doing so, they discover that Thanos is now dealing with an orc problem. Like, Thanos has been battling the orcs for, for like, weeks, and he's still, like, they call him the purple, uh, like, the purple boy. And he's the best fighter they've ever, like, the best opponent they've ever had. And Thanos is disgusted by them, because he's like, they all they care about is fighting. They don't care about death or Lady Death. They just want to fight. They're idiots. <laughs> like, I can't, like, the, I cannot stand, I cannot abide these idiots, like, if this is the only life that's going to exist, here, Rich, like, here, um, Stark, take the reality stone, like, gives it to him, and they go back, to, like, Tony gives this, uh, gives Doctor Strange the ability to use the reality stone with his spell to cast them all back into the Warhammer 40k universe, but, at, uh, but as they do, like, some of the orcs did steal a lot of technology from the Marvel Universe. And among those things, Gazgathal, like, well, what's we got here? Yeah, they're, they're, like, looking through all their DACA, like, they all the DACA they took from the Marvel Universe, and among it is the fucking reality stone that got accidentally sucked in with them when they were all being sent back. And he's like, <laughs> nice. Oh, I like this one. So there you go, guys. That is Avengers WOG. Um, I want to thank... Like, this one really was inspired by the Avengers vs. Alien comic going on. Um, and, yeah, I had so much fun read doing Avengers... Ver I mean, Justice League Vermitide. I wanted to do one with the orcs. So, yeah. You guys tell me in the comments below. What did you guys think of it? Comment below. Let me know. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.